welcome to Dallas Park and Recreation Up and Coming, the August edition. I'm your host, Monica Tete. Extended spray ground hours give families more cool time together. Extreme temperatures have led to new operating hours at Dallas's 17 spray grounds. The aqua playgrounds located in city parks are now available from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily through Labor Day weekend. Weekend operations resume Labor Day through the end of September. Visit DallasAquatics.org for locations. Get ready for school. Before area school doors open, Dallas Recreation Centers are hosting back-to-school events for students and families. Activities vary at each center and may feature free backpacks, school supplies, pop-up recreation, motivational speakers, games, contests, and more. Find out a list of back-to-school parties at DallasParks.org. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson is thanking Dallas Park and Recreation and Dallas Aquatics for supporting the newly created Summer of Safety. His initiative kept teens busy and safe with free and low cost activities and encouraged them to prepare for their futures with summer jobs. Dallas Aquatics hired youth 16 and older to fill lifeguard and other positions at city aquatic centers and community pools. Mayor Johnson will honor the teens and other seasonal employees for giving aquatics guests exceptional leadership and a memorable experience. Golden Games proved athletes over 50 still can go for the gold. Athletes 50 and older are preparing for the 6th annual Dallas Games beginning on September 10th. Dallas Park and Recreation will host the Olympic style fitness competition to show the importance of staying mentally and physically fit no matter your age. Athletes compete in eight sporting events including cycling, swimming, golf, basketball, tennis, track, and field and pickleball. The games open with the Parade of Athletes ceremony on August 26, followed by an exhibition basketball game featuring celebrity coaches and players. Remember, online registration continues through August 26 at DallasParks.org. Call 214-671-1602 for additional information and ways to participate. We can't wait to see the 2022 Golden Games medal winners. Department monitoring activities to rid poisonous plant from White Rock Lake. Dallas Park and Recreation has completed most of the pesticide application to eradicate water hemlock growing at White Rock Lake. Approximately 300 plants were treated in late July. Because most of the plants found were in the early blossoming stages, the herbicide treatment will disrupt the plant's life cycle by preventing development of their seeds, eventually causing the plants to die. Park maintenance is closely monitoring the treated areas. See some of the local news coverage on our website for more information. Out of school time programs, educate and entertain. Registration is underway for the department's out-of-school time programs held during the school year at Dallas Recreation Centers and partnering Dallas Independent School District locations. Students 5 to 12 enjoy healthy snacks, get homework help, develop life skills, play educational games, and make new friends. Contact a Dallas Recreation Center to register. And also, for more information and locations, go to DallasParks.org. Want a rewarding career? Work for us. Recreation professionals make a difference in Dallas communities. Full-time and part-time positions for recreation center assistants are available. Go to governmentjobs.com for more job descriptions and applications. Dallas Park and Recreation Board wants to hear from you. Providing Dallas with quality parks, recreational programs, and modern facilities is the hallmark of the Dallas Park and Recreation Board. Log in and watch at DallasCityHall.com. Trinity River National Water Trail ribbon cutting happened in late June. The Dallas Park and Recreation Department hosted the ribbon cutting ceremony for the Trinity River National Water Trail. 
This paddling trail is one of 33 national water trails across the U.S. and the first in the state of Texas. We worked in partnership with the Trinity Coalition to open up the City of Dallas portion of the trail, which includes five total boat launches. Special thanks to the Trinity Coalition, the North Texas Council of Governments, National Park Service, Park Board President Arun Argwal, and Park Board member Tim Dickey and EarthX for supporting this event. Dallas Park and Recreation would like to extend a heartfelt thanks to all of our partners that participated in the Youth Teen All Access Pass. We had an amazing month with thousands of visits from our team. Here's a recap of the Splash Day sponsored by our partner, Amazon. Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us on all social media platforms at Dallas Park Rec. And as always, Dallas Parks and Recreation Department brings communities together.